So today I'll be reviewing Pokemon Journeys episode 66, Flabebe's White Flower. This was a simple episode, nothing really interesting or crazy happened, but it was a nice episode for Go and his Floette. So I'll try to summarize the episode and give you my thoughts on it. So to start the episode, all of Go's Flabebe evolve into Floette, aside from the White Flower one since one of its petals fell off. So Ash and Go head to Shalor City in Kalos, where Go caught them so that he can find it a new flower. But when they get there, they realize that a rock crushed the spot where they need to grow. So they ask the professor for help, in finding it but he says that since the white flowers are rare he'll have to look into it so the next day they go searching too but they can't find anything so they end up just camping out and later that night we see Flabebe trying to fly with its broken flower but Go tells it not to worry since they'll definitely find it a new flower so the next day the professor tells them about someone who knows about Flabebe's flower and they go to see her and her florges and then they learn of a spot where all the white cluster flowers are growing so Ash and Go head to check them out and on their way up the mountain they pass a pink flower that hasn't bloomed yet and after searching for a while Flabebe leads them right back to that flower and we see it bloom into the white flower in the full moon. So after it blooms Flabebe takes that flower so there's only one flower left since another Flabebe came and took it too. So Flabebe learns grassy terrain to help more flowers grow and this somehow all leads to Go having to say goodbye to Floette so that it can protect the flowers which I wasn't expecting at all. It's probably the most random goodbye moment since Ash and Greninja which is probably what they drew inspiration from. So Go gives it a send off and everyone is emotional and I was just there like Pikachu who's just been basically invisible and chilling for the entire episode and the episode ends. The ending was somewhat confusing to me, I barely reacted to it since it happened immediately after. And I thought Go was going to end up taking the remaining flower to plant it at the lab or maybe Floette would help more grow since it knows grassy terrain now. I wasn't expecting a farewell scene and it seemed like that was kind of done for the sake of adding value to the episode or to make it more interesting and emotional but to me it just felt random and unneeded. Aside from that this was an okay episode, nothing major happened especially since Go has 4 other Floette. But it was nice seeing Go take care of one of his Pokemon. And one thing I really liked about the episode like I was saying earlier is all the nice cut scenes with the art. There were a lot of really nice looking scenes and I really appreciate how they included the Tower of Mastery in that one scene at nighttime, which was a nice attention to detail since they are in Shalor City. With that being said, that pretty much covers the entire episode. The next episode is filler. If I cover it, it'll probably be in this format of review too. And after that episode is the Project Mew arc, which I'll talk about later this week. With all that being said, thanks for watching and bye.